Hi everybody, I'm seeing a lot of interest online in SketchUp from woodworkers and I'm talking uh, the Instagram community and the Festool Facebook group. People are saying that they'd like to learn how to use SketchUp better or they'd like to outsource to somebody that can do the SketchUp efficiently but also has the woodworking understanding. Now that's a journey that I've been on for a few years and I've tried outsourcing, I've had a member of staff and in the end, I've created a system over the years and perfected it where I can very quickly draw in front of the customer and that drawing is ready for production. So in this video, I want to give you an overview of that system and I want to get your feedback as to whether it's something that would be useful to you and how useful it would be because I do want to get a return on all the work that I've put into it. Um, so help you out, but get some some money for it because actually i think it's gonna be much more valuable to you than whatever whatever price i do set for it if you don't know me i have for well about a year or so now been running a youtube channel and an instagram account in which i am trying to help and educate fitted furniture makers by passing on the knowledge that i would have loved to know when i was starting out because it can be quite a lonely road and there's a lot of technical stuff to learn and you can't really go to college for it to, to be a fitted furniture maker. So I've got a YouTube channel, it's Freebird Interiors and I've got an Instagram account, so do look me up there and I'll, I'll be continuing to put out helpful tips and videos on both those accounts. Now, if you're already aware of me, you might have seen on Instagram that I publicized that if you sign up through buymeacoffee.com slash Freebird, um, to be a monthly subscriber, I was making available a file that gives you my an overview of my system for fitted alcove cabinets. So this just gives you a feel for it. This is the PDF download that you should get if you subscribe at £3 a month. So a lot of people have said that's been very valuable in itself. A lot of people have been saying, why on earth are you giving it away so cheap? Well, I, I did that partly to test the water and to just get my methods out there because if those methods work for you then you might be interested in what I'm going to show you next. If you do want to get hold of that you go to buymeacoffee.com slash freebird you click on uh, monthly support monthly it's quite easy it's stripe or paypal payment and I'll let you in on a secret I mean you probably guessed it already you, you should get the pdf and you could unsubscribe um, and it's just three pounds but the, the next step that I'm going to roll out, which may not be for a few weeks or months yet, I will publicise first to my monthly subscribers because it's only fair that the people that are supporting me doing the ongoing content get first dibs on this sort of thing. So let me run through the system. I've, I'm just outside a customer's house. I've done a survey. I arrived at it cold, not knowing, not knowing the details of what they wanted, except it was fitted bookcases. I've applied my system and in two hours I've um, I've got it drawn up to the millimeter um, ready for her approval but I don't want a pressure sale so I've put I've put it in an email that's already sent with images and if she goes ahead I'm ready to move that to production with a minimum of stress and back and forth. Here's the whole process. I talk with a customer in the room, I sketch out the dimensions, I make other notes like this of sculptures that she wants to accommodate and her TV size. <clears throat> I then go to SketchUp and I sit on my laptop at the kitchen table and I say to her, you can leave me to it. So she had some friends over and she was quite happy I wasn't in her way. On SketchUp, I've, let me show you this. I've started by drawing out the room. based on the measurements that I showed you. So I drew the space first. I put in coving, skirting, electrical sockets, anything that's going to possibly be relevant to what I'm drawing. And now I've also used in the process of just generating the room, some dynamic components that over, over the years I and my team have created. So for example, a mantelpiece, I was able to just to drop that in pre-drawn and then change certain settings 
to get it to be sized exactly as her mantelpiece was sized. Same with the TV. I want to see if her TV is going to fit. So that was a pre-drawn dynamic component with certain settings, which I'll show you, for example, if I change the total height um, to something a bit silly, that's what happens. And all the other parameters can be changed to match her TV. Similar with the books and the sockets and all that sort of thing. I've drawn just very roughly her sculptures, but to scale, so she can see where they might fit. So onto the furniture. These are very complex dynamic components, which I've developed in line with my construction methods. So there's a constant feedback loop over the years where I've, I've been fitting stuff on site and then I've gone back to the model and tweaked it and improved it. So they have a lot of information embedded in them and I can update the door style like that. So that'd be like a classic door. All these parts in these models are individual parts. So for example, that cover strip is exactly the length, width and thickness that I will make it. Something like this side panel, it's drawn to butt up to the wall. I can change the programming so it, it, it butts up to a chimney breast if it was in an alcove and I can embed some information into it, which when it outputs to the cut list, it will add on a 20 millimeters. So it can look right in the drawing for the customer and it can also output to the correct size to allow for scribing. Now all these components are intelligent, which allows me to very quickly produce the drawing. So for example, I can just freely move that divider and the shelf snaps back to it. I can do a global change of the shelf thickness so I can go to my dynamic component options here. Now this is pretty complex, so I can't show you everything, but you see shelves down there, there's an option to change the shelf thickness. And I suppose I could do something silly so it's really obvious, like 60 millimeter shelves. And you can see that that's updated. So I don't have to go and change each one. <clears throat> Once I've got the design laid out, based on her feedback, I'm going to then create different scenes, still in her house, because I can do it pretty quick. And these are the scenes that I want to send her in an email to be absolutely sure that she has got an overview of everything that's going to get built. So the, the critical things are all the spacings and heights, because I say that she must, she must check it to make sure she's getting what she wants, so she can store what she wants there. The depths, that's something where I've come a cropper if I haven't made it really explicit, the depths of things, how far they stick out. And another important one is the internal arrangement. So we have a standard pricing whereby the internals are unpainted, but we're happy to paint them if people want it. We just have to make everything clear and then they have the option to discuss it. I've also talked about the cabling arrangements so everything has been thought through and communicated to the customer by the point that I leave the house. Those images have been exported as JPEGs from SketchUp. So these now are the images which have been attached to an email. And in the email, I've given her the pricing based on a standard price list. So once I've... <clears throat> Once I've done all that, I know that all bases are covered and I can walk away and it's not weighing on my mind because you know how it is when you've got a complex fitted furniture job or a series of them and there's a whole load of unresolved things or things that you've promised and now you think, well, how, am I, how on earth am I going to do that? And is it going to work <laughs> and have a priced it right? So this system, it's so well tested, I know how long it's going to take to make that. I know my material costs, etc. Um, it gives me a lot of peace of mind. I, I can just leave it be, because I haven't pressure so sold anything to her, but I've really impressed her. And if and when she comes back to me and says, go ahead, 
All I need to do is a few more clicks and print out the workshop instructions and Brady can just make it because he's got all that he needs to make it. I've got to order the material and stuff as well, of course. But I really feel very hands off while it's getting made um, until I go to fit it. And then I, I trust it's all ready because the system has been tested and works so well. And I just go and fit it. So I'll show you the next step, which is going from that drawing to the production information. <clears throat> so we're about to sketch up. I go to my extension cabinet sense. So I, I, I use this a lot. So this has been instrumental in creating these components. Dashboard. Make sure cut list is selected and go to run. You can, you can ignore that for now. Obviously there's a lot of settings that will take some getting used to. So I'm <coughs> proposing, I'll go into more detail at the end, but I'm proposing that I could train people in this. So that successfully generated a report. What it's actually done is outputted a comma, se comma separated value list which can become like an Excel document when you import it into a spreadsheet. And it's got all the part numbers and sizes and other information. So I just then have to import that, which I've already done, into Cutlist, which I'm running using Parallels on the Mac because it's a Windows program. And all those parts have come in now. So I don't know if you can see that, but along the left, you've got the cabinet that the component is part of. Then you've got the component name because it's all pre-labeled pre within the uh, dynamic component. Sizes and even your material type because it's all been set up right. So as long as the materials have all been set up right in the cut list program, then you will be able to automatically generate cutting diagrams. These can then be printed and you can, you can change the display so you can have the, the sizes written over each part and all that sort of thing. So they're ready to take to the table saw, rail saw or whatever and get cutting your parts. I think the only other thing I'd do is, is just maybe a few additional drawings which show dimensions in a way that's a little bit more optimised for the workshop. So, for example, I might, I might select a unit. Um, <clears throat> hide everything else, create a new scene. I'm not doing that because I'm just working one-handed. And then I'd be giving Brady dimensions more, a little bit more like this, because this is just how we find it a bit more helpful to set out the uh, the shelf heights. But it's very quick, it's very quick. You can, see, you can see the system. So I think that gives you a pretty good overview of, of what I've got. And the proposal is that I could sell the dynamic components and offer a training package to get you up and running, which would be, um, I'm thinking one-on-one -on -one over Skype or whatever, or possibly a group training or something like that. As I said at the start, I, I think I said it at the start, I've retaken this a couple of times, so I forget. But what I want right now is your feedback on how valuable this would be to you if you're if you're interested and how much you think you might pay for it i'm not going to hold you to that i'm just trying to get a feel for it uh, as i said do sign up to buymeacoffee.com slash freebird to get the pdf and to get first dibs on this idea because i'll put it out there first uh, I can't promise when I'll have this ready because I'm juggling a lot of projects at the moment. You know how it is running a fitted furniture business. So let me know. I think I'll leave it at that, but let me know what you think. Okay, thanks. Have a good weekend.